my goodness, guys, that is actually a Turek working in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a Turek in Minecraft Pocket Edition. But before we get onto the video, make sure you all go ahead and drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. And uh, yeah, guys, this actually works on all of the Minecraft versions. I know you guys are probably thinking I am genius, but yeah, guys, I will share this idea with you guys right now. I just actually saw this hole in the water right here, which is so weird, guys. And and as well as the water looks so so cool we do have a lovely swamp biome right here whoa guys we do have a fire oh my goodness that is terrific guys that is terrific we are going to stop the fire from spreading out in the jungle but anyway guys i will start today's video like that i'm not too sure why i actually spotted all of that but i don't want to let all of this spread around so i'm just going to stop the fire anyway let's go ahead and fly in a uh, flat area so we can make this guys because this is so so cool i think this is a pretty flat area so we are going to make this with seven blocks guys so this is actually pretty simple so one of the items that we do need is the birch wood uh, just like that and it's actually the planks and the second uh, block that we will need will be this great block right here so there we go and then we will actually need the armor stand just like that we will also need a tack from here we will also need a anvil and then we will need some hooks as well and the last item that we will need will be from the chat which is the common as you guys uh, I think already figured that out so let's go ahead and do that so it's uh, give at s and then command block which is right here uh, oops I actually messed it up so there we go and then what we will need to do so we don't get all of this in the chat lock we will actually do a game rule so there we go and then command block output and then it will be equal to false just like that so there you go guys we disabled that and now we are going to make uh, this right now so let's go ahead and start by placing this gray wall uh, this gray uh, uh, block so one two and then three four five six seven and eight just like that so i do think this is right we actually need to go one more so uh there we go so one two and then three four five six seven eight and the last one right here which is nine <coughs> and then what we will do from here is to dig uh, three uh, of length and eight time long so let's go ahead and do that right now and rip chicken i'm going to punch you all the way oh my goodness now chickens die in two uh two hits guys that is incredible but anyway let's go ahead and just uh, break these just like so and then let's go ahead and uh, dig two uh, more down just like that so we can place some commands blocks so there we go oops I did not mean to do that and just like that and now what we are going to go ahead and do is to place the hooks just about here guys so there we go we will leave a gap of one and place these hooks and the last thing that we will do is to actually uh, fill out everything except of the hole that we made rip chicken oh my goodness they are chasing me to kill them that is incredible guys but anyway let's go ahead and fill out that and that will be uh, all done guys now what we really want to do is to actually make the armor stand make sure they are facing the left because otherwise it will not be working guys so let's go ahead and do that right there and then we will actually need to do a command which will enable the armor stand to actually move here so the command is actually pretty simple it's it's just TP at E and then uh, the brackets name equal A. So this will enable the Armus 10 A to come in front and then uh, squiggly line 0 0.25, then squiggly line uh, 2.5, and then another squiggly line minus uh, 0 0.55. And now, so this common actually move, we need to name the game attack uh, the Armus 10 actually A. So uh, the way that we will do that is to get a tag and name it A, and then get the command to here. And this should actually make it move if we do make it to repeat and always active so let's go ahead and close that and voila guys
guys that is how you are going to do this so we are going to actually do this a lot of time guys so i'm just going to hopefully do this as quick as possible so there we go we got another arms 10 which is b then c and then obviously d guys that is just so we don't have to do this process uh, after that because it does get confusing if you do mix everything up so there we go we can get rid of that we will actually keep the command block just so we don't uh, lose it because we need to put other command blocks and then let's go ahead and repeat that command again so let's go ahead and actually make all of these command block uh, repeat just so um just so we don't have to do this later on because otherwise we will see some stuff not working then we will start panicking and this is not good guys so make sure you do get all of your command blocks uh, ready for work now what we will do is the same command on all of them so it's actually the same thing so tp at e then brackets name equal b just like that and then squiggly line uh, 0 0.25 then squiggly line 2.5 then another squiggly line which will be minus 0 0.55 and this will make the command move again let's go ahead and repeat it here as well so it's tp at e brackets and then name equals c and then squiggly line uh, 0 0.25 squiggly line 2.5 and another squiggly line a uh, minus 0 uh, 0.55 so that should be right oh my goodness i actually did not mean to put a hashtag guys so there we go and the last uh, thing that we will actually do i'm just going to correct this so tp at e name equals c did we actually name this come on yes we did so uh what's wrong with this one? Oh, so we forgot to add the at e because we just did the at that's why it did not work but anyway now it will work and there we go so let's go ahead and do the same thing here at e and then uh, brackets name equal d so just like that and then squiggly line 0 0.25 squiggly line 2.5 and another squiggly line minus 0 0.55 and that should be all of the command blocks done guys so what we will need to do is to actually make all of these command blocks invisible but i'm not going to type the command all over again because it's actually uh, confusing uh, but what we are going to do now is to actually get the position so i'm just going to get this command block ready and then i will show you guys the right position just so we have everything ready guys so let's go ahead and get all active and then repeat and let's go ahead and do the same to uh, the one that we are about to place just like that and one more guys one more uh, let's get all the hope up now because we are almost done and this is actually a really good trick because you could trick your friend like you do have a uh, a uh, actual uh, working uh, hook so that is actually cool guys but anyway the position is actually number nine so one two three four five six seven eight and then nine guys and this is the position that you need so one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and one two three four five six seven eight nine and there we go guys that's what you guys need to do so let's go ahead and paste the invisible command block and then we will get back to you guys so guys, I just uh, write the uh, invisible command on my notepad just so I can copy and paste it. And now let's go ahead and do it. So it's uh, effect at e name equal a invisibility one dot one dot true. And this should make the, uh, the armor stand invisible. So let's go ahead and paste it here. But we are going to change the name to b just so it does work on this one as well. Then do the same here and make it c and on the last one d just so it works on all of these command block other ways it's not going to work on them because as you guys already know we named our command block a b c d and we can't name them all a so that is quite a problem but anyway let's go ahead and do that and for that guys we do have all of these uh these armors 10 invisible so let's go ahead and uh, fill up all of this guys just like uh, so and um oh my goodness that is actually Oh, there you go. So we just need to go like that and that should be working. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, guys. Um, 
there we go and from here there you go guys so now what we are going to do is to clear our invent and then we will get the lovely thing to do which is to hang our items so let's go ahead and do that right now i'm just going to set the time today so we can see everything and let's go ahead and get our items so we are going to get a iron sword we are obviously gonna get a diamond pickaxe or axe and then a golden pickaxe and a stone uh, how just like that guys and this should actually work so let's go ahead and place our our pickaxe right here and oh my goodness i actually changed the position so uh, i shall just get it back because you should not crouch guys so there you go this is the right position so let's go ahead and hang our stuff in here and this should look cool guys i'm so so excited on seeing all of these because they are so so incredible guys so Let's go ahead and just do it. And there we go, guys. Wouldn't you guys think that this is actually a tool wreck in Minecraft Pocket Edition? Like, if I was walking like that and saw that, I would be... Oh my goodness, guys. That is actually a tool wreck working in Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I will be asking all of my friends how they did it because this is so cool. Like, as you guys can see, you can see even the details, guys, are right, guys. Like, it's in the middle of that and it is so, so cool. So, I really, really like this idea. And uh, I do recommend you guys making something like that in your house because this is so, so cool. And I do hope it actually worked for you. And it should have worked because if you guys follow all the information... You should have done the exact same thing, which should lead you to the uh, end bit, which is that. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. So if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to go ahead and drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. And uh, yeah, guys, I have a lot of exciting stuff coming soon. So make sure you turn post notifications on and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.